Hi and welcome to my channel and in today's video I'm gonna do a walkthrough solve slash sort of tutorial of the Shuang Fei Yang cube by Dayan also known as the 16 axis cube. Uh, a lot of the su uh, a lot of the solve is gonna be very intuitive and while the puzzle looks crazy and extremely complex it's actually a lot more intuitive than you might assume. Now I've had this puzzle uh, before in the past and I solved it a, a number of times using certain methods that I found on YouTube and I found it extremely difficult at that time so much so that I rarely ever picked it up and eventually ended up selling it off. Uh, later on earlier this year in recent months I decided to re revisit this puzzle as well as some others as you've seen like in another recent video where I talk about the MFA double circle cube so this is another puzzle that I revisited and I watched numerous tutorials, studied them, and once again realized that the solve is a lot intuitive than it seems. Now, of course, there's different methods, and some methods involve all kinds of algorithms, and in that case, it can get very, very confusing. Uh, but as I've learned with most puzzles, there's an easier way to do things, and there's a harder way to do things. I'm going to show you the easier way uh, to do this solve. So, Obviously, this is not a beginner level puzzle and you do need to have a certain degree of experience with tw twisty puzzles before you could solve this. Certainly a three by three cube and certain shape mods and so on and so forth. So the first thing is to understand what this really is. And uh, so basically you could think of it as a more complicated version of a hexaminx. Now a hexaminx is a cubic shape mod of a megaminx. And uh, in this case, it's it's not a, it's a cubic shape mod of another puzzle whose name I forgot, and it's a certain kind of shape, and I forgot the name of that shape. But it basically, it's a similar concept. So let, let me show you. So you can see it has a total of uh, 16 true faces. Now, that's 16 true centers, let's say. And uh, that's why it's called a 16-axis cube and uh technically it's actually eight axes but you know since it's each one has an opposite face that's why it's called the 16 axis cube so basically you have these true centers which it's corners really on the face of it as far as it looks uh but basically you have these pieces right here and you have two types of pieces that look like corners so you have these and you have these here and you can see there's a difference this one kind of goes all the way deep inside and it has more of a sharper look to it whereas this one you only see like this the cube part of it you don't see the internal piece really and it has a bubbly kind of like almost circly kind of shape to it so these pieces the circly ones they're actually corners whereas these are true centers now there's four of these true centers and uh these rotate uh, rotate by uh I believe what is it uh, 30 degrees each it was it 30 basically they do six rotations around and then you have these pentagonal faces so these are the hexagonal uh true centers and then you have 12 of these true uh centers which are pentagonal and uh and the rest of the pieces are either edges or corners so basically it has centers edges and corners one important thing with this puzzle is it has turns which are illegal which means basically it's sort of possible to do some turns but if you do it it turns in a way where it's not supposed to and it could break the puzzle so you have to be very very aware you know what you could turn and when so as far as edges go the types of edges that you have you have these kind of sharp edges right here uh, that's type number one and these edges connect to these specific four centers as you can see it connects here it connects here and here and here now we have at the moment four of them connected you have to have all six edges connected to be able to turn this uh this face because if you turn it when they're not all connected that's going to cause damage to the puzzle now the other types of edges that you have is these two color edges right here and here's one for example um here's another one so you have these and these connect to the pentagonal centers 
And lastly, the third type of edge that you have is these pieces, like this little red piece right here, you can see. Uh, now, on a soft cube, these look like centers, but these are actually edges and they connect to the pentagonal centers. Uh, and basically, in order to turn a pentagonal center, this is where it gets a little confusing. You have to have two of these big, thick edges that go together with these centers. They have to be connected to the pentagonal. And then you have three of these thinner edges connected on the other sides of the pentagonal face. You can see like I have this little red one connected here, the green one here, and this big edge connected to this big side, yellow one to the big side, and this one. And because I have all these edges, I know that I could turn this face, and you could see I could easily turn it. Now this one, let's turn this, for example, to turn in the yellow one and connect it to here. Now we have one, two, three, four, five. Now we need to connect one more here before we could turn this face. And let's see what we could do. So can we turn this pentagonal face to connect one of these big wing edges to this uh, to this uh, center? So let's see, we have the two big edges. We have a small edge connected to it, small here and small. So I know I could turn this and then I turn and I connect this edge to this. Now this one has all six and I know based on that now you could see I could turn it. If I would have turned it before, before they're all connected, pieces, it might have turned, but certain pieces would on the inside would turn in a way they're not supposed to and break the puzzle. And the same thing with this. Uh, if I turn it when I'm not supposed to, it's going to break. And let me show you an example. I'm not actually going to turn it, but right now you could see it has all the edges connected that should be connected to it, the two big ones and the three small ones. It might be hard to see. It takes a while for your mind to really adjust you know, after a few solves, it's much easier to see than if it's the first time you're picking up this puzzle. And so let's see, for example, if I turn this pentagonal face, let me just check if I can turn it. And yes, I, I should be able to turn it. Let's say I turn it like this in a way where the big edge connects here. So now it has three big edges connected to this pentagonal face. I cannot turn it. I could force it and that force is going to break the puzzle so i have to be very careful always to pay attention now the more you solve it the more easier it gets and this is most difficult really in the beginning of the solve where it's fully fully scrambled as you start to solve uh parts of it this gets easier you, see, you more easily see where you can turn it and where you can't and i'll explain it as we go on so the first thing to do in the actual solve is to orient the true centers and let me show you how that, how that can be done. So you have one here, for example, this type of corner piece. And then you have another one here. And you see this, a common color that these two have is blue and blue. Also, you see here, we have this blue pentagonal center and this one. So this is the blue face in its solved state. And we have to rotate this one so the blue and the blue face each other. And... Before we could do that, we have to make sure that all the proper edges are attached to it. So here I see we have six big edges. Let's see if we could turn one in from here, and we can. And I turned it in, now all six are attached, so I could rotate. This blue is lined up with these two. Now I could see if I could rotate this. I have to put in a big edge here. I'm gonna rotate in, doesn't matter what color at this point. And I see I have all six, and I could rotate. And it so happens that these two blue pentagonal faces are properly rotated already, but it could have been a situation where they're not, like something like this, you know, and then I just would rotate it where they're flat, you know, with each other. So this side is good. Now here is orange, and this one also has orange. We have to rotate this, but first we have to put in the edges. One, two, three, four, five. So we have to put one more before we could rotate it. We have to rotate this pentagonal face, make sure that we can rotate it. It has all the proper edges attached to it, uh, so we don't break the puzzle. We connect this big piece, and now I could rotate this. And this is done, and these two coincidentally are rotated properly as well. Uh, now let's see, green. Green is a common color here. I already have all six edges connected, the big edges to the big center so I know I could rotate this 
and once again the pentagonal faces happen to be rotated properly white with white red with red it's done blue with blue yellow with yellow green so all everything is properly rotated and it so happens that all the pentagonal faces were properly rotated but in many cases you're going to get them rotated out of place and you just rotate it so they're flat with each other so the first step of the solve is done the second step we're going to put in these big edges to these centers here and this is also intuitive so let's see what we could do so we have a blue one here and it needs to connect uh to one of these blue here so let's turn this in now let's see let's see i would have to i think i have to turn it this way i'm going to turn this in the pentagonal face put this i'm going to turn this to put in something else put this red one here which matches with it coincidentally and i'm going to turn this back turn this back so it's flat again this gets solved and this piece got solved now let's see what's next what we could do next let's see if we could put this blue somewhere here so first we're going to turn this uh center the hexagonal one and move this in and this should go in here Okay, this connected now do we could we turn this to put a yellow that would connect here we do have a yellow i'm not sure if it's going to connect or not let's just try and put it in turn this back and it does connect okay now we return this and this is already returned okay next let's see what else so we have more blue ones and we want to put in maybe another blue here so we're going to turn this here and I'm going to turn this here like so. Turn it in, connect it, replace it. Let's replace it with the orange, which happens to, to fit. And let's see. Now it fits with this, but it doesn't connect here, which is okay for now. So let's return this. And let's uh, return this. The orange, you can see I have oranges here, so this should be fairly easy. We're going to put this in here. I'm going to rotate this. And we're going to put this orange in by rotating this. I'm going to rotate this back. And now these oranges are solved. Uh, what else can we put in? This orange. We want to put here uh, or here let's see let's try so first we're going to connect this here i'm going to rotate this the pentagonal face i'm going to rotate this back rotate this back and connected there let's see what else we have green so this green I believe should go here and this yellow here um, let's see what order we're gonna do it in all right let's do it this way so if we turn this um, Maybe if we replace it with this, like so, move this out of the way, and then turn this back. Okay. See, one yellow needs to go here. Turn this in. Uh, I'm going to turn this in, replace it, and turn this back. Now let's see. This red needs to go Just check. 
here. Okay, so I'm going to put it in here. Um, this, I'm going to turn this to put in the green. Put in this green simultaneously. Turn this back. Turn this back. And then turn this back. And it's a bit complicated. Like I said, it's kind of a walkthrough sort of a s tutorial. I'm not getting too much in depth. Uh, let's see. What could we do next? Okay, so. Could put a white with the white but this white's gonna go here okay turn it in uh, let's replace it with something the only piece we could replace it with is this green turn this back and then turn this back now we have this green here where can we put the green belongs here right Put this here and when we put this here. So we're gonna put in the green, replace it with the red, turn it back, we put in the red, and now we turn this back, and turn this back. You can see a puzzle is starting to take form. Next. We want to get this blue piece out of here because everything else is solved. Well, let's see where's the orange is here. And everything here. So we're going to have to temporarily break something. So what I want to do, I want to put the orange. No, green is what belongs here. The green. So where's the green? here okay so I'm gonna put this here this here so there's two of these pieces here is one here so what we're gonna do is gonna put in the red we're gonna put the blue here replace it with the green and put the green back here replace with the green the green back and turn this back and this now let's see the blue belongs here and there's a white okay so let's see put this here I'm gonna Put this here. Replace it with the white. This is back. Okay. Now, if I put the white here, I'm going to replace it with that one. So I'm going to put this white here. I'm going to turn to this. And I'm going to. If I could put the white here, okay, back and turn this back and see. And this one is now the hexagonal center, which looks like a corner is solved. This has a white piece out. This one has, so it's these two. These are the last two. Let's see how we're gonna do it. So, okay, first let's just uh, put this here, turn in the white face, like that, and like that. And you can see all of these hexagonal ones have the proper big edges uh, solved. And so that's, I believe that's step number two that is done, or step number three. 
I think step number two. Okay, next step is we're going to put in the pentagonal edges, specifically these two colored ones. We're going to ignore these small ones for now, and uh, those are going to be come after. But in the meantime, we're going to put in these, and once again, this is intuitive as well. So we have a blue red here, which belongs here. And uh, so first, let's just put it in here. Replace it with this green. I'm going to do it just by put it in and then turn. You have to make sure to put in the right small edges, not the big ones. Turn this back. Turn this back. So this belongs here. So I'm going to put it in. Bring this up. This is back. Bag, just intuitive moves and this edge piece is in uh, what's next blue white belongs here uh, let's see if I I can't turn it in so if I turn it in here I turn this in and I'm gonna put this in here, turn this back, and turn this back. Uh, just make sure that everything is good to turn. And lastly, I turn this back. Always have to turn things back. So I have two of these in, now I'm gonna wanna find the third one, which is the red white, and it's here. And let's see what we could do. If I put this in like this, yeah, red should meet with red. So turn this in, connect it, turn this back, turn this back. Now we happen to put this piece in. We might have to kick it out later, we'll see. But for now, we could keep that in there and turn this back as well. Now let's see what we can do next. Green yellow belongs here. Yellow should attach to yellow, I see. So okay, so if we just make sure it's there. So, so this turn this in to connect it. Turn this back. Turn this back. Okay. So this is in red, green, and red yellow. Um, in the meantime, I see I have some pieces here, so this I could see I could just put in like this, down, down, up, up. Um, this belongs here, has to be flipped. Let's see. I'll take care of that later. First, I want to find this one to put in here. Turn it in, it's not going to connect the right way. Um, just think it through. What if I do it from here? That should work. If I put this in, Sure, I got everything. Sometimes, if it doesn't turn, that could mean something is not in right, but everything should be in right. Can get a little bit catchy sometimes. Okay, so this piece we're gonna turn it in 
here. We have to put this green as a replacement. So if we turn this back, and we can turn this back, and then turn this back. Now this piece needs to go here. Because we're going to do it this way. See, this was going to go the wrong way in. So what if I let's see do something like this? Let's do a sledgehammer to flip this over since none of the edges are built here it doesn't matter and yeah so now it should work if I turn this in put this in and turn it back Turn this back now. These are in, and these are in. Let's see what we have left. And these are in, right? So just take stock and double check. So these are in, these are in, these are not in, and these are not all in yet. So, okay, it's so the orange white belongs here so just gonna do a sledgehammer to put that in we need two edges here we we'll need to put two here this belongs there so let's see wait let turn this in Turn this in. I'm gonna put this orange to replace it with, so I could turn this back, and I could turn this back, and these two are solved now. Here, orange green. Where's the orange green? It's over here. It belongs here. Turn it up here. flip it so now it should go in so if we turn this here this in this back this back this is done now this is the last set here that we need to finish and let's see what we could do so see this one first we put in by sledgehammer This is in. Now, I put this in, and I turn this in, put this back, and it's done. Now, the last edges that we put in is these that look like the center pieces. Some of them are already in, I think. Let's see. Red and yellow are in. The other ones are not. Okay. So again, this is also intuitive, so uh, let's see. I'm going to turn this up here. I'm going to turn this to align them. 
and I want to get the green in there. So, uh, so I'm going to start by turning here and turn this, this, and turn this back and got the green in turn this back and take stock of what we have left we have a bit of a more complicated situation it's much easier if we have one here one here and one here and we just set it up and do that rotation and just but if we have one here uh like like this first we have to get one of them over here so let's do that get the blue one here put this in here now I'm going to undo that later to fix this. Now we swap these. So first we set them up. This here. Oh. And then this one. And let's see. So I'm going to put... And I'm going to turn this back. You see the white is in, blue is in. And turn this back. Now we're going to start from here to undo what we did before. That's set up. Put this in. Turn this. Turn this back. Turn this back. Now they're all in. Now all the edges on the puzzle are in. The only thing left is all corners. Believe it or not. The only thing that's not solved at this point is corners. The, these are corner pieces, even though they don't, they look like edges. These are corners, and these are corners. And the way we're gonna, the way that I like to do it, the easiest way that involves the least amount of, you know, thinking, is, uh, so let me show you. Let me first find what we could do, and then I'll explain it. Okay, so you could see these three spots right here. So we're going to do a sledgehammer starting from the right, down, down, up, up. We're going to do that three times. And what's going to happen is these two corner pieces are going to swap, and these two are going to swap. And the edges are going to stay the same. And what we need to do is put in the right corner pieces in the right places, regardless of whether or not they're rotated properly, because that's going to be the next step. So I see this one, the green yellow belongs here. So I could turn these hexagonal faces to set it up. I turn this face to put this in this position. Now I see also this piece belongs here. So I'm gonna turn this up as so to put it in this position. When I do the algorithm, these two are gonna swap and these two are gonna swap and this is gonna be placed where it needs to go in this one. So let's do it from here. Down, down, up, up, a second time, down, down, up, up, third time, down, down, up, up. And you see this is placed and this is placed. They're not rotated and that's fine. So we're gonna turn this back, turn this back and see what else we could do. Now I see I could put this, rotate this here to put it in here. It's going to kick this out, but that's fine for now. So let's see. So if I turn this in here. And let me just see. Red, yellow is somewhere all the way here. And I can't really involve it just yet. Okay, so just do an algorithm from here once again. Down. Down. Up. Up. Down, down, up, up, third time, down, up. See, the edges are not disturbed in any way. And this happened to be placed and put in the right way, but we might, you know, end up destroying that later as far as, you know, the rotation, which is going to be fixed in the end anyway. Uh, this one got displaced, but it's still next to it, so it's fine. Now, uh, this red one, Red, yellow, we want to get somewhere around this area. Let's see if we could do that. 
or we could just leave it for later. We can do it with some setup moves, you know, but let's see. Okay, I see a few things we could do. So here, if we put this in, and we turn this in, it's going to put these two pieces within the place where they need to be. They're still going to be swapped, but they're going to be within the section where they need to go. And let's see. So I could put this. It's going to go here, and then I'm going to be able to involve it here. Okay, so that's good. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Um, made a little mistake with this, which I'll explain, but first I want to get this out because I want it to stay here. So I'm going to turn this like so. The mistake I made is I had to do these one at a time. Okay, so I'm going to turn this up and this is going to be placed here. So let's do it again. Down, down, two, three. Okay, this is placed here. Now I'm gonna turn this up. I'm gonna turn this in, and this is gonna be placed here. Okay, now. See, this piece is going to have to be involved, so let's see what we can do with that. So if we put this underneath where it needs to go, and we want this to stay here for now. So let's see what else we could do. So I'll just turn this in, and then this yellow will go in here, and this is going to go in here. And it happened to place properly as well. We turn this back, turn this back, and we could turn this back as well. Let's take stock. This belongs here, this one, and this one. This one does not belong here, but it's close now to where it needs to be. So if we turn this in like this, it's gonna go here and I'll show you what's gonna happen. These two are gonna swap, but that's fine for now. So now And it happened to place this piece as well. Okay, so now we put this back. When we swap these, these are going to swap as well. And all of them are going to be placed properly. And that might not be rotated properly, but they're going to be placed properly. Okay. See, they're all now where they belong. Okay. Let's see, move on. Same with this face, everything is where it belongs. Here it's all still a mess. So let's see what we could put in. Let's see, this piece needs to go here. And this piece, so we'll rotate this piece to put it in. It doesn't belong here, but it belongs in this area. And we'll put in this piece like so, and we'll do the swap this way. Okay, turn this back. Um, turn this back. This one happened to be placed. This one is in the area where it belongs. Let's see, let's move on. So see, this 
the gold here. Better yet, if we put, we want to get this one closer to here. So if we put this here, these two are going to swap. And as far as here, it doesn't matter. So, okay. Okay, turn this back. This is now in the area where it needs to be. And this is getting closer to where it needs to be. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this here. Let's see, maybe I'll keep it there for now. So I have this piece here. I still need the green white. And that is all the way on the other side of the cube. Um, let's see if, what we could do to get it closer, if anything. So it belongs here. If we turn this up. could do this you see I made that setup move and then I make this setup move and I make sure all the edges are properly positioned to make sure that I could turn this face and I have to remember to undo that later very important so I'm gonna turn this in the green here I'm gonna let's see I don't want to swap it with this piece because then I'm going to undo the moves and this one is going to be, you know, so I want to swap it, put it in this position and the orange is going to come there. I'm going to turn it back. I'm going to undo the setup move. Like so. Turn this back. Now, let's see what we could do here. Okay, let's do this. So this is gonna place. And no, it's gonna go here, here. So only this one's gonna play, okay. Okay, now let's see, what we want to do, so we need to get this one out because it's going to have to go in there, and so let's turn this up, the white is going to go there, and it's going to solve. Sorry, that was my dog. She was barking in her sleep, so I just left on it. So, you know, I don't know if she's having a bad dream or a good one. Or... Okay, so I'm going to do the algorithm from here. The white is going to solve, and this is going to move out. Okay, so down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up. Okay, so... Now we're gonna make sure everything's something you see by accident. I turn this, if I force this, it's gonna be a problem. You always have to double check. Sometimes faces turn by themselves, like you know, by accident. Turn this back. Now, if you do the algorithm, it's gonna place this here. It's gonna swap these back, but that's fine for now. Okay, so.
turn this back. This is where it belongs, and this. These two need to swap. Let's see what we could swap. So, we need to get this piece closer to here, onto this hexagonal face. And so, I'm going to put this in, and we have a green there. So, we turn this in like this. Now, this green piece is going to go into here and solve this. And this one's going to go there, which is closer to where we need it. And these two are going to swap as they belong. Okay. Turn this back. See the green piece is in. This one is here, which is good. Turn this back closer to where it needs to be. Now, and so, okay, so, let's see, this is the last kind of section that we need to put in all these corners, place them, and then later we'll deal with the small ones. Let's see what we could do. So, first we'll put this, um, no, first I'll do this, I'll put the blue in here, and this will go here, and I could also turn this in, so the yellow goes in here. Two small ones are going to solve. Okay. Yellow is in there. It's not rotated, but that's fine. We'll do that later. And the blue is in. Next. Um. We get this piece, we want to get it here, so we're going to turn this up. Even though it's not where it belongs, but it puts it in this section. I'm going to put the white, so the white swaps with it. Orange, we don't, let's see if we, this gets kicked out, it's fine, I think. Let's see, yeah, okay, let's do it this way. Turn this back. Um, now I can do this. These two are going to swap. That's fine. This is going to go here and solve. It's fine. So let's do that. Okay, turn this back. Now, piece build that belongs here is here, and then blue white is all the way back there. Let's see what we could do. Um, so again, we're gonna have to do a setup move. See, I placed the big edge with the big one so I could turn this in. Now, I'm going to turn it in, and it's, I'm turning it so it goes here, and these two are going to swap with themselves. Okay, I'm going to go back and undo the setup move. Like so. Now, let's see what we could do. Now, if these are going to swap and these are going to swap. Um, okay, let's take stock of what we have. Okay, now we just need to cycle some of these pieces. So here, everything is where it belongs, here and here. So it's one, two, three, three pieces that we need to 
and it's all good. So I'm going to place it this way, and I'll show you what's going to happen. So I'm going to be swapping here. I'm going to place this in position, and place this. Now the orange is going to go here and the green here, and these are going to swap. And we're going to turn in the blue and do it again, and it's going to swap everything back into place. Okay. Okay, now we turn this orange out, turn the blue in, and now they're going to swap, and these are going to swap back. Turn these back. And everything is where it belongs. Now it's only a matter of rotating the corners. And so this is the final step. And once again, it's a fairly simple algorithm and I'm going to explain. Okay, so holding in this position, for example, the algorithm, algorithm that I'm going to show, this one's going to rotate counterclockwise and this one, the center one. And these two are going to rotate clockwise. And now it's all about setting things up. So let's see. So this is going to solve. And I check what I have on this face. So it's going to solve, but later I'm just going to put in other pieces to rotate them as needed. This one is not going to solve because it's going to rotate clockwise. And this one is going to get kicked out. I mean, it's not going to get kicked out, but it's going to rotate and unsolve, which is fine. This is going to solve, which we don't want it to do, but it's fine if it does that. So this is going to solve. That's our focus right now. And uh, so let's see. Actually, we don't need to involve this. What we could do is we could turn another piece in like this one. And it's going to turn clockwise. So let's see if I do it here. So this is going to solve. Okay. And this is going to solve. And this is not going to solve. Let's see. Is there something I can put in that will solve clockwise? Looks like they're all counterclockwise. Okay. So let's do it from this position. So algorithm is as such. So we're going to do down, down, up, up, twice. And then down, down, up, up. Then we're going to do, like, out. So I'll show you as I do it. So first, we start off here. Down, down, up, up. Second time. Down, down, up, up. Now, like this, out, up, back, down. Now, a second time through the same exact thing. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, out, up, back, down. You see this rotated properly in this one and this one. Okay. Let's see what else we can do on this face. So if we do the algorithm, this is going to solve, this is going to solve, and this is not going to solve, but let's see. This is going to solve, and what about that piece? It's not going to solve. Clockwise, counter, counter. So this one's, do we want it to solve? Let's see if I do it this way. So this is gonna solve, this is gonna solve. No, this is not gonna solve. This is gonna go, what if I put this piece in? This is gonna solve, okay, so let's do it from here, like this. Same algorithm that I just showed you. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, out, up, back, down, 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 up, up, down, 
down, up, up, out, up, back, down. You see this rotated? All of them rotated properly. You turn this back, turn this back, take stock of what we have. Now, Okay, so this one, let's see if I turn this in, it's going to go clockwise. This one is going to go counter. The counter is going to solve. And what about this one? This is going to go clock. So if we put it here, it's going to go counter and solve. It's going to go clockwise and solve. Could we do anything here? We could put this in here somehow. Let's see. Let's turn this in, connecting the big edge. And now we turn it in. It's such in position. Now, let's just see how we need to, it to rotate. So this has to rotate uh, counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Okay, so let's see. Main thing that we need to solve this one right now. So that's a setup move. This is gonna solve, this is gonna solve, and this one. And this is not gonna solve, which is fine for now. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, out, up back down 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 up up down down up up out up back down this one we could turn back for now this one we could turn back now this setup move make sure we undo it and turn this back back and let's take stock once again. You can see it's already almost fully solved. Some of these small ones and this one we need to rotate. So we're going to have to rotate one of these centers, which is fine. And let's see if we have any common place where we could access all of them. Okay, so I think this is the best center. Because from this center we could access these two, we can access these two. And this one we just have to put in somewhere in here. So let's first see how this needs to rotate. It needs to rotate clockwise. Okay. So we want to put this somewhere on this. Just turn this so it's visually more easy. Somewhere here we need to put it. Let's see. So if we just rotate this in like this, we have this in. This is gonna have to rotate clockwise. I'm gonna have to undo that setup move later. So, big edge is connected. So, okay, so we should be able to turn this into position. So, this is gonna go clockwise. This is going to counter and solve. It's going to go clockwise, not solve, but that's fine. Okay. Okay, so this is, turn this back. Now let's undo this setup move. Turn this back. Okay. 
now we just have to deal with these pieces here. Okay, so. And I want to keep them scrambled for now. We're going to have to involve another piece. And we're going to have to rotate. I mean, rotate, keep them rotated. And so let's see. So this is going to rotate counter. It's going to stay unsolved. This one is going to stay. And this one's going to rotate and everything. Okay, so let's do it from here. Down. Okay, let's see if we could position it in a way that everything is gonna get solved. So this is gonna rotate counterclockwise. And this counter, this is gonna, let's see. This needs to go counter. This needs to go counter. Okay, so. So see if I do it from this position, this is gonna solve this one and, and this one, but this is gonna stay unsolved. So I have to get a bit creative. Maybe involve another piece, let's see. Maybe if we swap the pieces, let's try to do that, see what happens if we swap them. That's the best way. So counter is going to solve. Clock. All right, let's just do it and see what happens. So um, maybe involve another piece. So this is going to solve. These two are going to solve. Okay. Okay, so let's see what we have. So, oh, we had another piece. Maybe that's why it wasn't working because I didn't realize we had the other piece. Okay, so let's see what we could do now. Just brainstorming and I think I have an idea which I actually didn't try it before it's just the first time I'm trying this idea I'm gonna get these two over replaced with this edge temporarily and let's see if that's gonna work so take them out Hold on. So these two with this edge. Let's see. Put this in. 
like so. And then turn this, turn this, turn this. Okay, put this here and just make sure that's not going to get in the way. Should be able to make all the turns that I need to. Okay, so now let's see. So this needs to go counter. This needs to go counter. So let's first position everything. Needs to go clock. Needs to go clock. Counter, counter. So from this position, I think everything should solve, and then I undo the setup move. This is clockwise, clockwise, counter, counter, right? Okay. Now. Turn this back, turn this, now we undo that setup move, you can see it solved this and everything else, and it looks like that did the trick, so I'll put this up here, which is where it was before, now put the green in, put this this and you could see the cube is fully solved so that's the method that i prefer to use for solving the shuang fei yang cube really fun solve what i love about it is that's so intuitive and the puzzle looks so crazy and difficult when it's scrambled but it's actually quite intuitive and but it doesn't involve a certain degree of skill and it's definitely not a beginner level puzzle so that'll be all for this video thank you for watching and until next time